Come on, Fernando. Come on. <laughs>
Now, one other thing is crab apple trees. Now these, this crab apple tree here, uh, you can see down there really isn't anything on the ground. Uh, actually, there's very little in the tree now. There's, there's one up here and there's a, there's, a, there's a few in there. Oh yeah, there's more over there. Okay, so what's uh, going on here is the wild turkeys that come through. Uh, this is where they have their dinner time, their, uh, their meal, and then they head off and they roost. And actually last night, we saw them fly up into, I believe it was that tree over there, that one and that one, we saw them fly up into there. So they are uh, doing a great job in cleaning up. And that's another thing is in the fall time, if you have an apple tree or a crab apple tree uh, and you're wanting to get rid of them, bring them by uh, a local farm, drop them off. Uh, it's much, much appreciated and uh, it gives the animals a nice little treat. Inside the barn. We have moved a few of our animals inside the barn just because it's gotten a little chilly the last few nights. Uh, and we haven't had much rain at all throughout the summer, but we have had a mist and cold weather for the last, uh, last couple days anyway. So I'm sure it's gonna rebound, uh, it usually does. So we have brought these guys in and these are, uh, these are the, the Pichicks. So this is Hen. This is Mama Hen and her baby chicks. Her, yeah, don't, that's not food. Where are you? There you are, kind of. And there we go. So two baby pea chicks. Hey, good mama. There we go. They're going to be bigger than uh, bigger than you soon. <laughs> uh, so they're in nice and cozy. And Sarge is taking care of the building. Aren't you, buddy? He's not allowed outside because he gets a little jealous. So we leave him inside. Uh, when there's not people here, we put him back outside. Um, but he actually is, he's really good as a therapy rooster. So we've used him a couple times. Once, you know, once you've got him and you're holding him, uh, he loves being pet and he'll sit there for hours. But uh, you turn his back, you turn your back on him and uh, he'll tell you who's boss, won't you buddy? <laughs> so we don't want to scare our get guests away. So we, we leave him in here because he can be a pain. Uh, ducklings, Muscovy ducklings. <clears throat> So we've got four remaining. Uh, some have uh, found new homes, and we did lose some the last, uh, oh, about two nights ago, I think we brought them in. And uh, because of the cold weather, and then the next morning, uh, we had lost some. So uh, Muscovy ducks do need to come in, but they should be good to, uh, to minus, minus five Celsius. Although little chicks, not so much, of course, you want to make sure that they're kept. They're kept warm. And our guineas. Hey guys. So we have four adults. Uh, one, two, three, four. And all these guys are the babies. So I had uh, shown those in previous video. Guinea hens are notorious for eating wood ticks and we have not had any wood ticks in our yard this summer and this summer has been a very bad year for wood ticks especially Lyme disease come on Fernando come on mm, patches so Tara went into the city the other day and uh, she had a uh, she was contacted by a landscaper and I guess there was a landscaping competition going on uh, about um, ideas to revitalize or um, add things to the city parks. So the idea was, uh, it was called Kids in the City. So she was contacted to take a few uh, of our kids in and uh, set up on this grassed area, uh, which was actually a sodded area. And uh, it was rainy, it wasn't great weather, but it did generate some uh, some some uh, good um, conversation 
and uh, it was just it was neat to have the kids in the city. So at the end, of course, the guy didn't have anything to uh, use the sod on, so he said, "Well, you can take it." Loaded it in the back of the truck, and she had actually sodded the uh, the peacock, the the pea fowl pen, anyway. So now they have uh, something nice to hang out on. Uh, you can see Prince is losing all of his feathers. So this is normal. They'll, uh, they'll all fall out and he'll have no more tail feathers and they'll grow back in over the winter time. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Are you trying to cut in on his girl? <laughs> He's like, look at me. I don't think Prince is too happy with that either. Some competition going on, eh, Prince? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Fernando, be nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Tinker. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, you want some of that grass, don't you? Yeah. So the other area that she put some sod into was the rabbit area. There we go. There's a little bunny there. Hey, so this is where the boys are. Now, boys or girls? Ah, Tara rotates them in and out all the time. Uh, so this is nice and grassed up to, of course, here where she ran out. Uh, we did have, I think it was two years ago, we put some sod in here. And it, uh, it didn't do all that great. So we'll put another layer right on top. What, you want some of that? <laughs> I think it's because we left this door open. And you guys had, um, had gotten in. So let's go check out the other ones over here. And see who else is in here. Anybody else? Yep, there's one right up there. And there should be... A black one, maybe hidden, burrowed under, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there's three of them in there. And here's Drake. Drake! Drake, what are you doing, bud? What are you doing hiding underneath there? Hi! I know, it's dreary, isn't it? Not the best weather. He knows winter's coming. <laughs> All right, what's everybody else doing? Snow? Snow, what are you looking at? What's going on? Hey? Yes, you guys had some pumpkins earlier, didn't you? You quite enjoyed that. There are none left. No pieces, no remnants. I'll have to give you another one, okay? I'll go, go and grab some more and then you guys can uh, can enjoy. Uh, so the, the goats, the goats are starting to get their fur in. This is Carly. Carly was all brown initially. She's turned black, haven't you girl? And she's got like these little pants on. <laughs> these brown pants. Hey, yes, yes you do. So their coats are starting to, uh, to get thicker as the cold weather. Blackie, hey, Blackie, you couldn't even, uh, you're not even, good. you're still, <laughs> he still won't let me pet you. <laughs> and of course the sheep, <laughs> hey, Tinker, hey, Tinker, 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 <laughs> where are you going? Okay, doesn't want, doesn't want any action today. All right, well, let's go inside, shall we? <laughs> oh, the, uh. The pigs should be here. Oh, look at this. Wow, everybody's just tucked in for their afternoon nap. And this is what they do almost all winter. Of course, what else is there to do, right? Uh, we'll put some more hay in here and we'll give them a nice big hay pile. And they just all climb in there. They're, I'm not disturbing you guys. Go to sleep, it's okay. Hey, bud. Fernando. 
Yeah. Well, there's Lambert. Lambert's got his nice big fur, don't you? Look at it's kind of wet though because it did rain. Look at how thick that is. All right, you're going to be nice and warm for winter, eh? One other uh, thing here is Tara's been asking me, she said, well, can I do the sides? Looks like she started putting the boards over here. So we use those boards that we, uh, we got from a pallet company and we close this whole area in. There'll be an opening down here so that they can get in. Uh, actually, she might even close that off and just use, uh, I'm not sure, depending on how her thoughts are on it. So that'll all be closed in right across. Uh, and then this will all be closed in as well right over to there and there'll be a little opening, a little door so they can go in here, get into this area. We'll probably block this area off because this is kind of the pig pen over here uh, and they don't like to be disturbed too much. You guys get picked on a lot, don't you? All right, well, let's go inside. <laughs> okay, into the nursery we go. Now, we call, I call this the nursery because we have our um, incubator here. And of course we have the little nurseries here that we put our chicks in. And something that came in, got the light here, is are these little guys. So, more babies. If I can just get in here, there we go. Okay, so these little babies, baby bunnies, Kits, kittens. Uh, they came in three, two days ago, I believe it was. And what had happened was their mother um, got, uh, she was killed by a dog, uh, um, uh, somebody's dog, and they found the little baby bunnies. One of the bunnies got, um, got hit with the dog as well, and that one didn't make it through the night, unfortunately. So these guys did. So they're in here getting healthy and strong. And then uh, what they're eating here is uh, alfalfa pellets. That you can see here on the ground here. They've got their water over here. And they've got the hay and some grass as well. So they're tucked in here nice and warm as it's getting cold out. They're probably about, uh, well their eyes should open around 10 days old. So they're probably too two to three weeks old, I would say. They're, they're very close to being leaving the nest and uh, heading off on their own. Poor little guys, we'll take care of you. Okay guys, come on. You guys want some of these, don't you? Oh yes, I know. So pumpkins, the time of year. You guys want some of this? Look at that. One of their favorite treats. All right, so let's break open some of these, shall we? Look out, guys. Ooh, that one we need to break open a little bit more. This one here, yeah, yeah, hang on. Break these one, I love the seeds. So as I mentioned, the seeds are a, um... here, let's break that a little more. The seeds are a natural dewormer. Here. Let me get this for you. Uh, uh, take back up. <laughs> Let me get... Fernando, you want some? Uh, okay, here you go. So, um, yeah, now I'm all muddy. So after Halloween, if you have any of your pumpkins left over and you have a farm in your area, uh, bring them by and uh, I'm sure the animals will quite enjoy them. As you can see here, uh, the pigs have gotten up. They're out. Everybody's here. I don't know where Barry went. Barry had some earlier, so I'm sure he's fine. He had a bunch of peas as well. Uh, so uh, there was a couple ladies that stopped by regularly and they brought, uh, well, they always seem to bring a bag of peas with them. So. It was cute. Uh, they had, um, they were putting them in their mouth and feeding them. Uh, it, it's, uh, he's very, very uh, calm and gentle. He's probably, you know, a little scared uh, because, you know, he's still coming around. Um, but um, but it, was, it was really cute how he 
um, took them right out of their mouths, and um, they were doing that throughout the whole morning. So it was cute. Terry even got in there, and she said, well, let me give this a shot. And she uh, put one in her mouth, and, and of course, I got a couple really nice pictures of, um, of, uh, of her feeding Barry from her mouth. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, so that's it for uh, this episode, this video. So babies in the fall. You know, it's, uh, I still haven't found um, Tina, so we'll, uh, we'll look around for her. I, I imagine what she's done is she's probably hidden in some section of the bush, uh, keeping her young warm and uh, making her way back this way. So, hey, Barry, you made it. It's pumpkin time. <laughs> Anyway, next week we will uh, undoubtedly be closing off all the building sections. Tara's been talking about that, how she wants to get out here and do that. Uh, best to do it before it's too late uh, because uh, you start freezing your fingers when you're uh, working in below freezing temperatures. So we'll get that done next week, get everybody all ready for winter, all tucked in. Right, Lucy? <laughs> Uh, so until then, you take care, and uh, we will see you next week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so. And we will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.